Hey guys. Well, today we are at it with our first look of the new Springfield Armory Hellion or VHS from Croatia. This is a slightly modified version to accept Stanag mags as opposed to their proprietary mags that they take. So I am going to start off with shooting this um, with the drum mag. And as some of you guys may have figured out, since this is a bullpup, this is going to be uncomfortable, but I would rather show you guys some absurdity that you may not see on other channels. So that way that we can start this off. You're going to see that I don't have an optic mounted yet. We do have one coming in, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's go and shoot, shall we? Now, we do have our charging handle that is ambidextrous that does slide under here. So we can just kind of grab it, rip it forward. Let's go and shoot. We do have ambi safeties on this. We're going to talk full review later on, but we'll talk a few features today. All right, 50 yards. Now, being that this is a drum mag, it does not have a bolt hold option. So I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the mag. You guys see right here, we do have a little button that we push. This will allow us to pull the mags out. And now we're gonna switch to something a little less absurd. Alrighty, so like I said, it's gonna be a little bit less absurd. We do have our Surefire 60 in here, so that way that I can show you guys what this is like. Now, I do only have this loaded up with a few rounds, but I want to show it off in the beginning because this is something that most people are only showing their 30 rounds, their 10 rounds, and their 20 round magazines out of. They're not showing anything with higher capacity because let's face it, when you're shooting, especially a bullpup where your action is behind your pistol, but behind your uh, pistol grip, it's on your wrist. So you want something that's comfortable and you want to be able to carry a lot of rounds. So this is an option that you guys can go for because it is a little bit more comfortable to shoot as you're not pushing your arm way out to try and get around the magazine. So we're going to do a little bit of a mag dump with this one. Let's see how it shoots. Now that we've shot this, I want to talk to you guys about some of the features that I like some of the features that I think are missing, and some of the features that I think could be better. So starting off, I do wanna say I am glad that they did include pop-up hooded iron sights, so that way that you can have iron sights on this gun ready to go out of the box. You do not need to go and add them. And it also means that this gun is ready out of the box to go to the range and shoot. I, for one, like to go and take my guns immediately to the range and try them out when I first get them. I wanna see what they're like. I wanna see if my purchase was worthwhile and having sights already on the gun is something that I truly appreciate. Now let's talk about something that's kind of interesting. It's not a good or a bad, it's just an interesting thing. This does have a three position collapsible spring-loaded stock in here, which means that you can get more length of pull, which is not something typical in a bullpup. So that's kind of an interesting thing. It's not something that I'm actually really using all that much. I've adjusted it to the different positions and I find that the collapse position works best for me as somebody who is five foot eight. Here's a feature that's missing though. Where's my bolt hold? Where's my ability to hold the bolt back without having to stick my finger into the magwell and stop the bolt in position? If it's on here, I can't find it. If it's in the manual, I have missed it every time I've read it. And that's to me something that in the US market we really need because when you're taking these out to the range and you need to throw a flag into the gun, instead of having to sit there and finagle, I wanna be able to lock it to the rear, keep it open so that way that when I'm ready to go back to shooting, I throw the mag in, I can drop the bolt and go back to shooting. Now. If you guys are wondering where the bolt release is, it's, uh, well, as our dear friends over at the firearm blog say, it's a nipple pinch. It's not bad. It's not great. It's something that if you get used to it, you may love it. If it's not something that you really want to go and be doing, there's several weird movements in here I'm not a big fan of, but they're not something that are going to deter me from getting this gunned. 
Now it is a heavy gun. I will say that it's a little bit heavier than I think it should be, but it is piston driven. So you do have a lot more weight in here to deal with all of that system in here. Now, speaking of it being piston driven, this does mean that it has two positions for your gas. You have in for non-suppressed and S for suppressed. You just go and press this little down, little uh, knob down, and it allows you to change it real easily. And then up on top, you can easily see the S or the in. The muzzle device isn't amazing. It isn't bad. It just is. I wouldn't say this is something that I really like or dislike. It just, it's on the gun. Now I will say of all the magazines that we have tried so far, they all have worked, which is great because if you're running any kind of standard mag, they should work. I haven't found any so far in my collection that haven't worked. So that's not to say that there aren't ones out there, but from what I've seen online so far, nobody's really been running into, oh, stay away from this brand. It does come with one PMAG in this kit, but we are typically not running our PMAGs for 556. So we're gonna go and run this gun and see what it does with this Lancer. Let's go and shoot. Now I will say, like I said, the uh, charging handle is ambidextrous, which makes it nice for right-handed or left-handed and you also have the ability to switch ejection. We will talk about that in the full review coming up later on this year, so stay tuned for that. All right, we're back at 50, uh, 50 yards. Let's go and shoot. Now, for my question of the day, guys, and I hope you guys will comment down below, do you like bullpups? Bullpups have inherent problems, i.e. their trigger is not always the greatest. In fact, typically, they're typically just okay. And if you do like bullpups or would have a bullpup, is this something that interests you enough to want to go out and try it? If so, leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Now guys, before we close out this video, I do want to ask for a couple of things. I hope that you guys will leave a comment down below with the answer, or if you guys just want to talk about this particular firearm, I'd love to read your comments. I do also hope that you guys will like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you guys are notified every time we put out a new video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.